Welcome viewers to my channel on the restoration of vintage radios. Today's story is about the WEF-12, a radio made in the former USSR in 1967. Now this is a conventional super heterodyne radio with germanium transistors. And like in all vintage transistor radios, it has a transformer based audio output stage. Well, I've done some initial restoration and I'll be narrating you details of this. Now, this was not the condition when I received this. It was definitely more dusty. Its uh, sound was very distorted. Its volume control was not functional. The antenna knob at the top also was uh, missing. And this back cover was almost yellow. I had to use a brightener. And as you can see, it looks much better now. As you can see, this set is very easy to open. Uh, you can see that the PCB was partly corroded. It still is. I haven't cleaned it totally. I've cleaned all the contacts of the band switch because that was very essential. This is a rotating band switch and these contacts have to be cleaned. Now one has to be very careful in lifting the main board because there's so many wires which are connected to it. The first thing I did was to change the volume control, which I'll show you later. And then I changed all the electrolytic condensers. And these are the ones which are here in orange as well as in blue. The recapping did bring about a marked improvement in the sound quality, but I still wasn't happy because the sound was still not clear. Now in any radio restoration, one must ensure that the audio amplifier stage functions very well. And in this particular case, I found that the distortion is being caused by one of the output transistors. Now T9 and T10 are both the output transistors. It was T9 whose pin was broken and uh, I had to replace it by a GT402B. I also replaced temporarily the T8 transistor just for testing. I also decided to carry out a random check of some of the non-electrolytic capacitors and found that their capacitance was way above normal. And what you see here is a replacement. Well, these are some of the replaced capacitors. And uh, this of course is the T9 transistor. Its emitter pin was broken. I did uh, mend it and it does function, but I decided against reinstalling it. This squarish uh, orange colored capacitor is a 33N, which was employed in the bypass section of the IF stage and uh, it was completely open. So obviously I had to replace it with another ceramic disc one. Now this is the antenna pullout knob. It was originally missing and I had to fabricate one on my mini lathe machine. In a transistor radio, if the antenna is broken or damaged, well, it does affect the beauty of the set as well. I did replace the T9 and T10 output transistors with a matched pair of GT402Bs. As you know, in the set, these uh, tubular paper capacitors were employed and uh, they're highly susceptible to aging and uh, they're not very reliable as well. So I had to replace all of them with polyester capacitors, which you see here in uh, brown and green color.
पर गए उनके साथ मणिपुर के युवा कार्य और खेल मंत्री के गोविंद दास और तथा राज्य सरकार के वरिष्ठ अधिकारी भी थे विश्वविद्यालय अंतर्राष्ट्रीय मानकों के अनुसार पहला पूर्ण खेल विश्वविद्यालय है I did have to retune the IFs to 465 kilocycles. Now after recapping there is always a likelihood that the IF tuned frequency will change and so it's very necessary to check it. Well that rounds up this restoration. I hope I've been able to explain every possible detail of this restoration story. So just get down and have that So here goes Philip with this lovely song going out for all you great guys out there. I hope you like this video. Do see my other videos on vintage radios and electronics. Thanks for watching.